All right, guys, you ready for These the show? Are parallel conversations. <laughs> Here we okay. go. You're watching PTZ Optics Live, a 1080p broadcast available exclusively on YouTube Live every Friday, streaming at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Broadcast quality made affordable. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, everybody. Welcome to an extremely special, it's not even a show, it's a party. We have Tom Sinclair here. How you doing, Tom? It's always a party. It's always a party. <laughs> <laughs> Tess, how are you today? I'm doing good. Happy it's Friday. Happy to be here. We got the balloons, the party balloons. We've got everything. And why are we having such a big party? It's the VMix 19 release party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Raise the roof. So, uh, as we do every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, we live stream directly to YouTube. So, if you are on the YouTube chat room, thank you so much for being here. Hit the like button and you're helping us donate to charity. Every week, we donate to the Susquehanna Valley Casa, who helps children in need who are in the court system get adoptions. And just last year, we were able to donate enough money to have a full-time caseworker help up to five to seven children get adoptions, which is really great. So thank you so much for helping us there. These are little balloons there because everything is party themed today. Um, just a recap of the month, we had Stephen Haywood from the Tech Buzz. We had a USDA DLT grant meeting for those of you in the education and um, healthcare space. We talked to Easy Live, the first ever video production system in the cloud last week. Today we've got Tom Sinclair, the original streaming idiot. And next week we have Mario Armstrong, who is creating the world's first, well, I guess not the first live streaming system, but he, he's, he, you'll, you'll see next week. Anyway, um, this week the giveaway, if you go to ptzoptics.com slash giveaway, is five terabytes of bandwidth for 12 months. Is that a lot of bandwidth, Tom? Nah. Now, you can go through that in a couple of days. Really? No, oh. I'm just teasing. I'm oh. just teasing. I'm <laughs> teasing. <laughs> no, that's... And we're going to talk a little you. bit about DeCast. I know, Tom, you've used DeCast quite a bit. And uh, it does some really great things. It allows... If you, for really professional live streaming, you can do quite a bit. Next week, we're giving away a vMix Pro license. We should have done it today. But things honestly, worked out I had there. no idea that vMix was going to make... Today, the vMix party. I had no, I had no idea. No <laughs> they made today idea. the vMix party. So today is the vMix well, party. Well, that just, that just means everybody has to tune in again next week. Yeah, I yes. guess it doesn't, doesn't hurt too bad. Um, we're going to have some party favors. So one thing we're going to give you guys is... I love that. Um, we have some party favors. So we're going to give you guys... Everyone watching is going to get all of the PTZ Optics virtual sets in the chat room. I'm going to give you the Dropbox link. They're worth $100. They come free with every PTZ Optics camera. So some of our, our customers out there probably already have them. But that's a one party favor. And then the other party favor is these balloons. We made some really nice 1080p green screen footage that, who knows, maybe you could use it for your next vMix party. <laughs> And that's about it. We have a Facebook user group for those of you who are in, um, or PTZ Optics users, you might be interested in that. And then Tom, I always ask this question. I'd love to ask you before we take you into the lightning round, where are we in this streaming adoption world? This bell curve here, I know we've talked about before. Where, where are we? <coughs> Excuse me. We are, in my opinion, we are entering the beginning of the third phase. The early majority. The early majority. Wow. That's yeah. good for us. That is a very And this nice bell curve may be a lot taller than your, your diagram. I totally <laughs> agree. Totally well, agree. I don't know if we can ha make space for how tall it may be. Um, but, right. Tom, every week we start off with a lightning round where I could just ask you some questions just to get to know you a little better. Totally off the live streaming topic. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. All right, so Tom, coffee or tea? Lemonade. Lemonade, hey, you don't have to answer. You can answer these however you want. Uh, iPhone or Android? Android. 
Mac or PC? PC. Yeah. There you go. Okay. What's your favorite book? The Bible. Oh, you're too good. You're such a good boy. Um, what is your favorite movie? I'm not a good boy. That's why I need the Bible. <laughs> oh, it's all making sense now. <laughs> My favorite movie, oh, golly. You know, uh, the, there is that one with uh, Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro called The Intern. Yes, I haven't seen that yet. It's oh, it's, 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 a, it's a heart, it's a tearjerker. I'm going to have to make uh, my husband But it's a really happy, then. upbeat movie. Yeah, it's not a chick flick. I, I don't okay. think. Okay. I think Good it's very inspiring about the difference that one person can make in a business organization. ding ling 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 Still, one question I have to ask you, Tom. If you could go back into history yes. to watch 24 hours of history unfold anywhere, anytime, where and where, when and where would you go? I would go um, to Australia yesterday <laughs> and watch Martin s and watch Martin and Tim get ready to release VMix 19. Oh, that's too good. Did you uh, give him the questions beforehand? No, he actually answered uh, that You crushed the lightning round. Da oh, he yes, got the, he gave I me the questions right, fine, beforehand. I did. I gave him the okay, questions. All right. Normally I do that from time to time, you know, just If you really be, like the guy. I'm so nice. old, he knew he had to give me the answers in advance. <laughs> In writing. He was all written down. <laughs> so, as you know, Tom, we've got eight questions here, eight topics, 60 seconds each to keep us on our 20-minute time frame. And the first thing I want to ask you are, who are all these streaming idiots? <laughs> the idea behind streaming idiots is, let's take the pressure off. None of us are, are going to be perfect. We're all going to make mistakes. And so let's all make mistakes together and learn from our shared mistakes. And I get to be the one out in front saying, everybody gets to see all my mistakes. I'll make them so that you don't have to. That's who the streaming idiots are. The folks that watch our, our Wednesday afternoon talk show, 2 o'clock Eastern, streamingidiots.com. So we're streaming idiots. Well, yes. Much, yeah. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. And Tess, you're even a bigger one than, than Paul. Well, actually, I, know. I don't know. It's pretty, I'm a it's rookie, pretty close. so. It's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're bringing it's out a new much. program called uh, Live Streaming Rookies, so we'll, we'll get you in that one. Really? That sounds perfect for me. Yes. That is a good one. And, yes. Tom, this is proof that my uh, inputs are a little off. I think because basically vMix doubled the amount of inputs. We'll talk about that later, but my little timer's not working because... Um, now it is. I, I just put it in the one for what is vMix call and how are we using it? I have a little footage here to show that we're using it live right now. What the heck is it? vMix call is is the most fun that you can have on a computer. And I'm not <laughs> lying because I've, I've seen it all. vMix, vMix call is going to take the place of Skype and Zoom and Quick Link TX and New Tech Talk Show 100 because it's going to allow anybody with an inexpensive piece of software like vMix to bring in a remote guest from anywhere in the world and automatically handle all of the audio nightmares that you have from doing that. It automatically does mix minus, it automatically sets up full duplex, so that means no ducking in the conversation, and it brings 1080p directly in from the guest and has the opportunity, as Paul showed a few minutes ago, to send the guest back a 1080p feed so they can see how good things look. vMix Call is a game changer. It certainly is. And I, the cool thing is, that's not the only thing vMix 19 added. What else was there in there? Well, I give up. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> well, um, vMix 19 also included the ability to have up to 10 overlays, which was one of the things that I was very excited about. Um, although it kind of, if you have old presets that you're using in vMix, keep in mind that when you use them in vMix 19, they're going to get all rearranged. That's fine. Um, but it's basically, you can have 10 overlays on a single layer. What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. They also introduced um, refer well, not reference systems, but safe layers, safe zones. Safe zones, yeah. So, so if you're concerned that the 
the screen may overlap or, or eat up some of your margins. You now have safe, safe zones and it sets it up in thirds. And, you know, the folks that are coming from a TV background will appreciate that. The idiots like me that don't come from a broadcasting background are like, you know, what's, what's safety zones? I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> I just want to be on, on the screen and, and look good. So vMix yep. um, has been done some interesting things uh, with these reference systems. Mm -hmm. And they're basically uh, live streaming systems that they're kind of recommending. Can you kind of explain what they're doing here? Yes. vMix has a certain sweet spot when it comes to hardware. And so what they've done is they've opened up their book of secrets and they've said, this is the sweet spot for vMix with hardware, depending on the number of, of uh, capture inputs you want to get and the, the, the amount of portability you get. And so you see there the Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire lines. Um, here with Eastern Shore Broadcasting, we've actually brought out our own branded line of PCs that meet or exceed these specs. It's called live streaming gear. Yeah, so I've got a uh, topic on there for you on that one because I want to specifically okay, definitely we'll go get into that. that. We'll, um, we'll get to that. But one more thing. you got to remember, specifications like this are the lowest standard. They're not the highest standard. Mm -hmm. They're saying this is the basics. If you fall below this, it's not going to work. But you can go above it, and it gets even better. I know. It's incredible. And, and when, with the power of live streaming and broadcasting, I've talked to so many people who are like, I don't care. It's $2,000, $3,000, $4,000. $4, Give me the latest and greatest everything. The value that you get from live streaming to your customers is so great that the budget sometimes Agreed. isn't really that important. I want to show our custom PC because we kind of fell into that category, Tom, where we were like, give us everything you can, future-proof it times 20. And I have a little video to show it off here. Tom did a great job. You signed the inside of it, <laughs> which I thought was really cool. Here it is. I mean, it's just a mammoth. Can, you, can we kind of talk about it a little bit? It's big. It weighed about 80 pounds. It was, <laughs> it was wonderful. And, and you guys wanted everything with it, didn't you? I think you wanted every trick, every buzz that we could possibly put in there. Um, I think the only thing it doesn't do is make coffee. <laughs> Although we were, we were trying to get a Keurig to put in the other side. We had a little bit of space left over. Um, but that, the, I mean, the it, idea it is, is that this is built for you guys so that you guys can plug in USB cameras. You can plug in um, HDMI cameras. You can plug in video cards. You can mm -hmm. demonstrate everything that you have or, or want to demonstrate there in your showroom. Um, yeah, yeah, this is the interesting part in here um, is that... There's 12 USB 3.0 ports, and they, every single USB 3.0 port has its own USB bus, or chipset, rather, um, so that we can plug in any right. capture card we want. If we any mix of HDMI or HDSDI or just USB 3.0, um, that was kind of the most versatile way we could do it instead of locking ourselves to 4 HDMI or 4 SDI. Um, we've pretty much can, got just unlimited bandwidth, and these are the StarTech... Um, capture cards we used with the independent um, chipsets there. And I have just a little, pre I won't take too much time, but this is what we told Tom we had to have. Support for H camera, eight cameras with discrete USB 3 ports, four HD video outputs, future-proof uh, processing for 4K, rack mountable, top-of-the-line NVIDIA graphics, Windows 7 64-bit, at least one Thunderbolt, and four USB 2s, you know, just for keyboards, mice, and stuff like that. And this is what he built. He had i7 hex core, uh, 5,820 K CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, 240 uh, gigabyte solid state hard drive, 12 USB 3s. Oh my God. Thunderbolt 3.1. I mean, it's just like our baby at this point, And we use it. I mean, what would you say, Tess? Do we use it like every day? Every single day. We every use day of this work, computer. we use it pretty much. For at least for four or five hours a we day. We have some questions about it. I don't know and we're getting some questions now, about it, and we'd be happy to answer them. Tom made it. Tom, you signed the inside. You know, we took it apart, just put some extra stuff in there, and I saw that you signed it. It's like a, a masterpiece. 
<laughs> I didn't. Be- I couldn't believe that. It's inside. It says Tom Sinclair. Is this signature. a rack mountable PC or is it a desktop? It's and rack, is it server grade? Rack mount. Is it server grade? For you, rack mount. It is not server grade. Okay. It's not server grade. It's better than server grade. Oh. It's more custom, at least. I know that. I am going to take. So yeah, can I take them you. to livestreaminggear.com, or is that still in the pro? I can't take them there yet. It's still in the works. So we can talk works. about it. Here, so here's your chance. Tell us. What, tell us about, about livestreaming gear. These exceed the vMix reference systems, basically. Well, we, we try to, especially in areas where we think people are going to get a lot of bang for their buck. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of people have a lot of ideas of how these PCs should be constructed, and that's why vMix went with the reference systems to try to avoid so much, you know, just well-intentioned people with bad information. And so based on, on my testing, I said, okay, you know, these are different ways that we can improve on these systems by adding a faster CPU or by adding more RAM or by doing some little tricks, kind of what I call my secret sauce. Uh, that we put into each one of those. <laughs> um, we have a certain line. If you go to our website, easternshorebroadcasting.com, you'll see the line of off-the-shelf okay. stre- live streaming gear PCs. And we there. can either modify something from off-the-shelf or, like we did for Paul and PTZ Optics, we can build something from scratch, uh, custom from scratch. Um, yeah, if you want to go to the um, store, to the shop, yeah, and then scroll down to live streaming gear. What is the name of graphics PCs, uh, of the graphics go. adapter? Nice. Yeah. Well, Very that's cool. part of the secret sauce. Uh-huh. Yeah. Any reason yeah. we chose Windows 7 over 10? Well, when did we get the computer? Well, Windows 7 is still um, quite darn Ten reliable. was not reliable at that point. At yeah. that point, it was not very good. At that point. Yeah. And we still, it's like, <laughs> if, if it's not broken, why fix it? You know, I mean, I, I do right. think that vMix 19 is running faster. I don't know what he did, but it feels to me much smoother and faster. I don't know if you like felt it. that way at all, Tom. Here's a little, here's yeah, a little well something for, for Martin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They increased yes. the number of squirrels from four to eight, and that made a lot of difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I, something happened. I don't know what it was, but it, feel, it feels like to me it's running faster. I don't know. Well, that's, that's seat of the pants horsepower is what we're looking for, yeah. So, Tom, you and I are going to be hanging out soon um, at NAB, and I wanted to ask you what we type are. of industry trends are you looking for out there? Because, I mean, it's a new year. Every, t- every year is different. It's always something new. What can we expect this year? I think NAB this year we're going to see a lot of tennis shoes. Uh, a lot of <laughs> folks walked away with, with, with sore feet last year, and so this yes. year they're going to come back with tennis shoes and wear tennis shoes. No, um, I think we're going to see. Um, I think we're going to see the virtual reality kind of come into NAB yes. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, doesn't really affect us, I don't think. Um, I think we'll see uh, knockoffs of uh, products that came out, you know, a little while back and are now kind of hitting mainstream. Like Google Glass will come out for two hundred dollars as a no-name brand. Mm-hmm. Um, that'll be kind of fun, especially if it'll do live streaming. Um, I think the vMix 19 with vMix Call is going to be, at least in kind of in our narrow niche, it's going to be an earth-shattering feature. Um, within, the, within the online talk show community, vMix Call is going to have the effect that NDI had last year among the sports community. Because mm-hmm. with NDI, you can, you can use the network to transfer your video and audio all over the place instead of having to ha- have everything cabled up. With vMix Call, you don't have to go out and buy a $4,000 um, separate PC box in order to be able to bring in multiple callers in a talk show. It's, it's going to be wonderful. In fact, I've had uh, two radio stations already um, that are going to be, well, one, one upgraded this morning, and the other one we're outfitting um, two of their studios with, with your cameras and with our PCs and with vMix Call so that they can bring in callers from outside, not just audio callers now, but, but video callers as well. It's, it's, it's game-changing. 
It actually, it's going to be life saving for radio stations. Is what it's going to be. It's yeah, going to be a life saver for a radio station. That is yeah. a really good point. Well, we're running up on time. The last thing I wanted to show until we get into the post show and do all of our party tricks and everything. I even forgot about this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Nine we've got letter. party things. You know, we're gonna, we got uh, some surprises. We've got the giveaway, all that stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and just show everyone where the heck our booths are, Tom. So this is the Westgate. This is where a lot of people stay. This is where we're staying because it's right next to the whole convention. And South Lower is really where a lot of the action is. So we decided very early on to just go ahead and go to South Lower. Right when you walk in, there's Black Magic in Grass Valley. And you walk down the aisle a little bit. Wirecast is there. And then right there is VMix. And that's a big upgrade for you guys. Um, I think right so. next to look, it's literally connected to New Tech basically, in a way. Yep. So it's right next to New Tech, and New Tech is going to have this place called NDI Central, um, which is going to be really cool. I have no idea what's going to be there, but I think it's going to be awesome. Open broadcast system. I wonder if OBS got a booth. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Um, Anyway, you keep walking That's down. It. This booth was open, and I wanted to move here to make it easier on you guys to get over to our booth, Tom. But we're all the way back here. At least we're in the same hall. Well, that means that any person that gets back to your booth is a pre-qualified lead. <laughs> well, we were, we were like over here last time, so we didn't move far. We didn't move forward, which you're supposed to always get the chance to move forward, I thought. But anyway, I wanted to show that off and give everybody the chance to kind of lay out where they're going to be going because I know a lot of people are going to be popping back and forth. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hang out for the post-show because we're going to have some post-show fun and games and plus the giveaway. And we're going to ask Tom a bunch of questions about all these streaming idiot things that he's doing. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the post-show q &A. And that's all, folks. We appreciate your participation in the chat room and can't wait to host our next informative Q&A session. Your questions drive the conversation forward for live streaming professionals around the world. Until next time, happy streaming!